फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पैसिफिक केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज अवर आइसोमैरिज्म इन द मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री यू आर स्टडिंग सिंस द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड सो व्हाट द टाइप ऑफ आइसोमैरिज्म इन द मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस वी विल सी द डिटेल्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमैरिज्म इन दिस वीडियो सो बेसिकली आइसोमैरिज्म वी कैन क्लासिफाइड इनटू टू कैटेगरी दैट इज अवर स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमैरिज्म एंड स्टीरियो आइसोमैरिज्म सो स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमैरिज्म इज फर्दर क्लासिफाइड एज कोऑर्डिनेशन आइसोमैरिज्म आयोनाइजेशन आइसोमैरिज्म लिंकेज आइसोमैरिज्म लिगेंड आइसोमैरिज्म एंड सोलावेट आइसोमैरिज्म पॉलीमराइजेशन आइसोमैरिज्म हियर वी कैन सी दैट सोलावेट आइसोमैरिज्म इटसेल्फ विल बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज हाइड्रेट एज वेल एज अमोनिएट सो व्हेन आई विल डिस्कस द डिटेल व्हेन वी विल सी द एग्जांपल्स सो कोऑर्डिनेशन आइसोमैरिज्म आयोनाइजेशन आइसोमैरिज्म लिंकेज आइसोमैरिज्म हाइड्रेट आइसोमैरिज्म लिगेंड आइसोमैरिज्म एंड पॉलीमराइजेशन आइसोमैरिज्म दिस आर द इंपॉर्टेंट कैटेगरी सो स्टीरियो आइसोमैरिज्म इट इज आल्सो टर्म्ड एज योर स्पेस आइसोमैरिज्म एंड इट इज क्लासिफाइड एज जियोमेट्रिकल आइसोमैरिज्म ऑप्टिकल आइसोमैरिज्म फर्दर दे विल हैव द क्लासिफिकेशन सिसन ट्रांस टाइप हेयर ऑप्टिकल विल बी लाइक डेक्सट्रो एंड लेबोरेटरी सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल discuss the detail of structural isomerism so students what is the meaning of isomerism as we know that iso means so the same and mars means so the structure so when they are having the same molecular formula but different structures is termed as the isomerism so for example if we will say any metal is there and we have a ligand so if all the ligands are same it will ha not have the different but now if suppose what we will say that if uh, we are having the suppose m a2 b2 type of a complexes means two ligands of a type two ligands of a b type so they can easily arrange themselves around the central metal atom in a different way for example if suppose two a ligands are like this b ligands are arranged like this they can also change their position na they can be one side and they can be the same side of the metals so different the, they have the same molecular formula ma2 b2 but they have the different structural formula so why the isomerism arises due to the different arrangement of the atoms molecules or the groups around the central metal atom atom that's why the isomeris occurs so now first we will see the detail of structural isomerism structural isomerism is a uh, important and it arises due to the different in the structure of the coordination compounds so here i have written the definition of isomerism the compounds which have the same chemical composition but the different structural arrangements of their atoms are called as isomers and the phenomena is known as isomerism and coordination compounds broadly have two types of the isomerism that is our structural isomerism and our stereo isomerism now we will see the classification of our structural isomerism the first important example of our this isomerism uh, our structural isomerism is our coordination isomerism so student coordination isomerism to understand it first you should know what is coordination sphere so whenever we are writing any complex like ml and suppose we have taken some ligands here and some ligands outside also so if suppose this inside the square bracket this is known as coordination sphere and outside the bracket whatever it is written suppose it is a y here so this is the ionization sphere and inside this this is our central metal atom and this six is the coordination number so this square bracket is the coordination sphere outside this is the ionization sphere and this is the coordination number so now coordination isomerism here i have taken one cationic complexes and anionic complex means when the charge is positive it is a cationic complexes when the charge is negative it is our anionic complex so students in this isomerism there is exchange of ligands between the two coordination sphere means some ligands will go from this to this coordination sphere so here i have taken l6 here k6 different ligands so now we will see the example that will be easy for you to understand so it is uh, coordination isomerism we will study in the two headings first we will exchange the ligands and in the second heading we will exchange the metal cation itself so first coordination compounds having the same central metal ions in both the complex cation and the complex anion so here it is our chromate our chromium third 
थ्री प्लस अस्ट्रेट एंड अमोनिया सिक्स एंड हेयर अवर थायोसाइनेट लेगा एंड सो हेयर व्हाट इज दिस सी आर एन एस थ्री होल सिक्स थ्री प्लस दिस इज कैटैनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स सी आर थ्री प्लस अवर एस सी एन होल सिक्स थ्री माइनस सो हेयर अवर थायोसाइनेट व्हाट विल हैपन वाई आइसोमेरिज्म हाउ डज इट एक्सिस इट अवर two of the thiocyanate ligand will come in this complex and two of the ammonia will go in this coordination sphere so this examples you can learn as we know that thiocyanate will have minus one charge so when it will go here it will neutral two of the positive charge so the charges will change first it was 3 plus 3 minus now it is plus one and plus uh, sorry minus one in in the coordination sphere but the metal atom is same next example coordination compounds having the different central metal ions in the complexes cation and anion now you can see both the example it is our cobalt here it is chromium here and here ammonia ligand here cyanide ligand but what will happen here our chromium and cobalt will interchange in the coordination sphere so co 3 plus and nh3 6 whole 6 3 plus what happens here cr will come here and cobalt will come in this coordination sphere but as the ligands are not moving so the charges will remain as it is so i hope coordination isomerism is clear to you all just you can write the examples of each type now next we will discuss the next type of structural isomerism that is our ionization isomerism so students ionization isomerism means our ions means our what will happen when we will uh, dissolve this complexes in the water or some solution what will happen they will give different color so uh, in this what happens this inside uh, in this type of the isomerism the position of the ligands inside and outside the coordination sphere changes means first we can say some example like co br nh3 whole 5 so4 so so4 was outside when when it comes inside the coordination sphere so the color of the complexes will change from red violet to red so they will give sulfate ions and they will give the bromide ions so the names also according to the what ion is outside like penta amine bromo cobalt third sulfate as sulfate ion is here and here what is the name penta means sulfate to cobalt third bromide as it will give the bromide ions in the solution i have not written the reaction because only examples are sufficient and next example this complex platinum is with the cl2 nh3 whole 4 br2 now what is happening the ionization sphere the ligands are exchanging br2 is exchanging with the cl2 so here the example will be ptcl2 nh3 whole 4 br2 and it will be pt br2 nh3 whole 4 cl2 next example co cl2 nh3 whole 4 no2 this is our nitro hai na so what happens here one cl will remain in the coordination sphere and other cl will go in the in the, sorry in out of the two cl what happens here no2 will come in, inside the coordination sphere and one cl will go outside the coordination sphere so the ions are exchanging here ionization isomerism next is the linkage isomerism in the linkage isomerism because of the some ligands itself will do the linkage for example as we have uh, we discussed this this isomerism arises due to the ligands means it depends upon the ligands means it is a simple nitro ligands na no2 we are saying nitro but if it is written as ono it is termed as the nitrito so with what atom it is donating the lone pair of electrons to the metal that the name is given to the complexes so there are such type of the ligands which which will uh, link with the metal with the different faces like our oxygen and sometime it will uh, attach with the metal with the nitrogen so here what happens this isomerism arises due to the ligands as some ligands can donate their lone pair to the metal by two atoms sometimes with oxygen other time with the nitrogen so when it is attaching with the metal complexes like when it is attaching with the metal like ono then we will say it is a nitrito and if it is attaching with the metal donating the lone pair of metal with the help of our nitro group so it is our nitro okay nitro complexes similarly other example of such type of the ligands are scn that is our thiocyanate ion so 
Sometimes it is donating the metal with the sulfur end, so it is thiocyanato, and sometimes the nitrogen, so it is isothiocyanato. Next example of this category is S2O3 two minus, so it is thiosulfato, and it is thiosulfato O. So it is written when it is attaching with the sulfur, it is thiosulfato S, and when it is attaching with the oxygen phase, it is thiosulfato O. So I hope uh, any uh, out of three. Whatever is easy for you, you can give that one. Okay. So now uh, example of the complexes for the linkage isomerism. So first example we can take like our cobalt with NH3 whole five ONO means here oxygen is donating to the cobalt. And next is our cobalt is in the third means having the three plus oxidation state. CO NH3 whole five NO2 two plus and it is donating with the nitrogen. It is attaching with the nitrogen phase to the metal. Then next is our PD diphenyl SCN whole twice means our either pe konsa ho jayega thiocyanato and here pe isothiocyanato because it is donating with the nitrogen. Lone pair is donated with the help of nitrogen to the palladium. Next is CO NS3 whole five S. SO3 means this is our sulfato S and it will be our sulfato our oxygen. Next is our hydrate isomerism. So this is a very simple like our what we can say that name itself is telling hydrate means water. So when the isomerism is taking place because of the water ligand, so it will be termed as hydrate isomerism. I had given the example simple, not in much detail because this is not in the MSC syllabus. So due to the H2O ligand, H2O can also be sometime inside the coordination sphere and sometime it can also be in the outside the coordination sphere. So for example, CO, NH3, whole 4, Cl, H2O, Br2. So one of the H2O will come outside so it will be co ns3 whole 4 br2 cl h2o so here we can see that our cl and h2o both our ligands came outside the coordination sphere next is the ligand isomerism ligand isomerism is a type of isomerism ligand isomerism so if we see that our propane can be uh, having the amino groups as 1 2 amino propane and can also have like 1 3 diamino propane means if our amino groups is attaching with our propane it can be at the 1 2 position or also at the 1 3 position so if it is 1 2 diamino propane it is written in the short as pn our what is this our diamino propane and it is our if like this at 1 2 position we are writing it as a pn and if it is at the 1 3 position we are writing it as a tn so if it is 1 3 diamino propane we are writing it as a tn and now see the examples if when the these ligands are that is pn and tn are associated with any complexes the complexes are called as the ligand isomers for example co PN hold twice Cl2. So what is the meaning of PN? PN means our this ligand 1 to diamino propane. And similarly CO TN hold twice Cl2 means what is this TN? TN is our 1 3 diamino propane. So we can also write it in this type like CO in the so it is having the total how many ligands? This is our octahedral complex only because we know that PN will be uh, attaching with any complex with the two T's because there are two nitrogens now. So we can write it in this way like our CO pn pn because there are two and there are two cl2 so it is written as like this and for the tn we have to write the tn so i hope uh, the video is clear to you all so what examples are easy for you go for those example and you can take in some of the textbook you will find the solvate isomerism also so what is solvate isomerism it's uh, just our as we discussed the hydrate isomerism so sometimes in the some books you will see that solvate isomerism is of two types like hydrate isomerism where the ligand will be our water molecule and now just uh, what is the solvate isomerism is this isomerism the negative ligand is exchanged with the neutral ligand so as we know that the main important neutral ligands which we are studying in the complexes are ammonia and the water so if we are exchanging the ligand with the 
एच टू ओ दैट इज़ अवर हाइड्रेट आइसो मैरिजम एंड इफ वी आर एक्सचेंजिंग द लिगैंड विद द अमोनिया दैट टाइप ऑफ द सोलोवेट आइसो मैरिजम इज टर्म डज द अमोनियट आइसो मैरिजम सो आई एक्सप्लेन हाइड्रेट इन दिस वीडियो इन द स्टार्टिंग सो जस्ट वॉट इज वी विल टेक वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अमोनिया लिगैंड सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट पी टी सी एल फोर सिक्स एन एच थ्री सो वी आर हैविंग हेयर सिक्स अमोनिया लिगैंड In the right side, you can see that we can write it like our PT and its three whole six Cl four. So in the coordination sphere, we have six ammonia ligand, and in the ionization sphere, we have our four Cl chloride ligand. So what we have to do? Solve it isomerism. We will exchange the negative ligand means our chloride is negative ligand here, and the neutral is our ammonia. So we will exchange one by one these ligands, and inside the coordination sphere, there should be six. Ligand at any time, so just you can see that. So first we will write the our normal PtCl, sorry PtNH three whole six Cl four like this. So you will exchange one ligand with the ammonia and one will be inside Cl. So NH three whole five Cl and here how many Cl will left three and one ammonia comes. Next step me kya hoga? You will have four ammonia, two ammonia outside and two Cl two inside. third next example your three ammonia and our three ammonia outside and only one cl is left so in ultimately last step what happens we will exchange all the four cl ligands with our four ammonia ligand so i hope this solvent isomerism is not that tough only you have to uh, remember one of the negative ion or the group or the ligand get exchange with the neutral ligand or the our neutral group like an s3 or our water if the ligand is our h2 so it is hydrate iton isomerism and if it is ammonia it is our um, ammoniate isomerism so in this i explained like co nh3 whole 4 clh2 or br2 was there so what we have done we have exchange our here uh, h2 comes outside and cl also it is exchange with our br2 so next is our polymerization isomerism as i explained this video because in some textbook this uh, isomerism are given along with this so polymerization isomerism so students we know that uh, what is the meaning of polymerization like our as we know that polythene hota hai na so we are already uh, we see if, what is polymerization in the beginning if we will have our c2h4 this is our simple ethene and if we will take n number so it will make our polyethene so number of n increases now so in the beginning if you are having only 20 units of the polyethene and suppose they will polymerize with more 20 so you will get a Uh, the number will change but the polythene will be there na so this is the polymerization na small small monomer units combined to form a big our big unit that is polymer so here for example various isomers differ in the formula weight from one another means in the beginning if we have over platinum two ammonia and two chloride so uh, similarly next step what will happen we will have our pt nh3 whole to i cl2 so if we will find the stoichiometric ratio it is 1 is to 2 is to 2 because there is one platinum two ammonia two chlorine next if we will polymerize it so what we will take platinum nh3 whole 4 we have doubled it and again here what uh, we have increased one of the platinum and one of uh, two of the chloride so just double hua na 1 is to 2 is to 2 now it is 2 is to 4 is to 4 so what we can say that these two will have the empirical formula 1 is to 2 is to 2 what is happening here our platinum ammonia cl every our every atom or the group is polymerized means numbers are increasing but they will have the same empirical formula they will increase in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 2 so this is your polymerization isomerisms i hope uh, you can um, you understand this so take the screenshot and do complete your notes actually in many syllabus they will give you three types of the isomerism but here i increased hydrate isomerism ligand isomerism solvent isomerism and polymerization isomerism also so you can just uh, take the screenshot do complete your notes do share with your friends and do subscribe the channel thanks for watching
what example is easy for you write that in your notes because some students some uh, examples are tough so write the easy one okay thanks for watching